there guys so today I decided to make a video with some general tips and a basic rundown on Crusaders Alight. Most of this has to do with gear and such. It's really to help some of the new players out. I mean there's so much I could have covered in this video so I'm sure I left some things out. But this is some basic information to get you started. Okay so first things first let's start out with how many dungeons you should be running. If you click on your Advent tab, and then down here at the bottom, the little eye, click on it, it will give you the following information. So pretty much for the first three arrays you run, you will receive your full experience, talent experience, and item rewards. Then for your fourth, fifth, and sixth, you will receive a portion of the rewards. Now after your sixth raid, you will not receive any rewards. You can get medals though. Now if you look here at number 5, once you reach the hero levels, it claims it resets on Mondays and Fridays. Um, now it appears two of them have been opened at a time, so I'm not sure exactly if this is 100% accurate anymore. Now if you want to see if you've done one and if it hasn't been reset, if you click here, you see where it says first kill, that means you've already killed it and it hasn't reset, so you won't receive any rewards from killing it. Now you will receive medals still and you'll get a pretty good amount for helping your friends and such. Now a lot of times you'll see people say in chat that they're going to run 3-1-1-1. Pretty much what that is is they'll run 3 of the goblin and then 1 of every other dungeon to get the max rewards of XP. Okay now let's go over your jewelry. Okay first we're going to go over your accessory and your earrings. Now you want to be doing your reputation to get it up to where you can buy these items. Now if you look under Thundercall and Kadena, you can see where these items you can buy. I'm going to show you how you can get your reputation up and how to buy them. Okay, so first off, let's go over Thundercall and how you do that. So if you go under your Advent tab, Reputation Task, and then click on Thundercall Academy, questions and answers here you can do daily. They're pretty simple questions. You'll get the hang of them eventually. They also do quizzes throughout the day that give you extra reputation. So keep an eye out on for those. Now you can also kill mobs. So if you click on the map here and then click on the mob you want to kill and then click go it will automatically direct you to them. Keep in mind, you're only allowed a certain amount of elimination reputation per day. Here you can see I was at 5,474, and I almost maxed that out. Well, actually, technically, I did max it out today. So you kind of want to plan accordingly. Now, some of these mobs are near the world bosses, so just be careful. Sometimes you will engage them, and then they will kill you. Now, once you have made it to the mobs, you can start auto-targeting. You can search for teams nearby and join them, or you can start your own team and invite people. Let me show you how. So first let me show you how to search for teams nearby. If you click over here on the flag and then nearby teams, you can kind of search of who's nearby and request to join if they're farming. By joining an existing team, you get reputation faster because you all are autoing and killing mobs faster. Okay, now let me show you how to start your own team to help you farm reputation faster. First, click on Quick Team, and then if you click on the plus, you can search by nearby players and invite them. You can also invite your friends and such. And then of course, all they will have to do is auto, and it will help you the reputation to crew faster. Now for Kadena, you will do it the same way. There's plenty of mobs for you to farm for this. Now to buy these two accessories, you will click on Trade and then Reputation Store and then under Thunder Call Academy and Kadena you can see what you can buy. The accessory is under one and then the earrings are under the other. As you climb up in Reputation, you can buy better items. They're pretty cheap and you can buy a couple each day. I did this a few times to get better stats on my items. Okay, now let me show you how to get your ring and your pendant. These will be level 20 items, but they are pretty cheap to get. Okay, so now you will click on Trade, and then you'll click on Sell, and then Blueprints. Now scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you will find your ring and your pendant here. Now click on your ring, 
and up here at the top you want to change the level item to level 20. This will give you the lower level item which is much much cheaper to craft. Now let's repeat that step to find your pendant. Click back on blueprints, scroll to the bottom, click on pendant. Now don't forget to change your level and here are the blueprint recipes for your pendant. Now let's talk a little bit about gems. Gems are the only thing I will spend my silver on. My primary goal at first was to get level 40 ray stones, which are 180 health. Now to buy the gems, you will click on trade and then metal store, and then the gem store is here. There's a green set of items and a blue set of items you can buy. I just bought the blue items. Keep in mind if you don't need the items, you can dismantle them for pretty much the same silver back, so you really never lose money. Also, don't be afraid to gem your gears, because it does not cost to remove them. Now, to craft your gear, you will need stones of life, dreams, magic, time, and earth to increase your chances of getting an epic and give you better gear. You can buy these with gold, or you can use your metals. Keep in mind you can accrue up to a thousand metals a day. I'll show you how to do that in a few seconds. But first, let me show you where to buy these stones. Now if you click back on trade and then metal store and under the metal store tab you can buy all of these items. Now you can get up to a thousand metals a day so that's ten of these stones that you can buy a day. Now to see how many you've earned in a day if you click on character, info and down here at the bottom the green explanation mark click on it. Okay so here you can see I have earned the max a thousand medals for the, today. So first you have your trial quests, normal raids, your elementals, and story quests. You can earn 700 that way. Then you have your hero raids, normal group raids, and then the hero group raids. You can earn up to 500 that way. Then there's the elemental leader and you can earn up to 300. You earn more medals by helping people. So if anyone's trying to do a quest, one of the challenges, if you join it, you get a good amount of medals for helping them with it. And if you run another dungeon, like let's say fort, you get a really good amount of medals for running those a day. And it's the same for the hero dungeons. Now the elementals, I'll sometimes get five, ten, I guess it varies depending on the level of players in your group. Also I've noticed with some dungeon runs you get more when there's a lower level, like you're helping them out, they give you more for that. Okay, so now let me go over some basics on gear. Um, there are green, blue, and purple gear that you can get. Now with each piece of gear, you will have a letter stating the quality of the gear. You have C being the worst, B, A, S, and then SS is the best gear you can get. So I know when you're comparing your gear, it can sometimes be overwhelming. Sometimes these letters will help you understand which gear might be better. Now if you notice here in this screenshot, this gear here has a set bonus, Mana Flame Strike. Now if you get two or three pieces with that same set bonus, you will get these bonuses. Now keep in mind, some pieces can have different set bonuses, so just compare them and see what's best for you. Now once you have the gear you want to use, you can reforge it to get better stats. I did a few of them before I hit level 45 and then I saved most of mine to when I hit level 45 to recast those. I would also craft your level 30 blueprints because you have a chance of getting a legendary equipment this way. Okay, I'm almost done here, but let's go over a few more things here. So now let's discuss your path. Once you get to a certain level, you'll be able to choose one. I would focus one and level it up instead of focusing multiple. Because once you reach a certain level, it will be very difficult and it will be hard to level those. Okay, so now for your rune upgrade. What I did at first is I leveled all of them up to 10 to get the extra HP. Because each time you level one, you get one HP for it. And then I started focusing certain ones that were better fit for a scout. Okay, lastly, there are different ways you can add um, to the guild fund. First, there's quests you can do on a weekly basis. There's also other guild activities that add to this guild fund. So now if you go to your guild page and then workshops, you can craft certain items here. 
it uses guild contributions that you've put in. And then if you go to the benefit tab, there's silver you earn. And then also there's a guild warehouse where you can buy supplies here. Um, see here you can buy the emblems that you use to upgrade your path here. So I think that covers everything I wanted to cover in this video. I'm sure there's some things I left out, so if there's some tips you've learned, make sure to post them below. Okay, I wanted to thank you all for watching and make sure you subscribe, like, and comment.